We would like to start the second half of the session. Uh, next is uh, Kenji Tanaka, Deputy Mayor of Kuwana City. Uh, he joined Ministry of Health and Welfare in 1995. Uh, he served um, in the, uh, as the first secretary of the Japanese embassy in Germany. Upon return, he was head of planning a social medical fees and payment fund. Uh, he also was seconded to the Ministry of Finance. In 2013 April, he has been serving as deputy mayor of Kuana City. Uh, so he will be speaking about e-health card of Germany, and as well as initiatives taken by the Kuana City in regional health care and nursing care. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kenji Tanaka. I am the Deputy Mayor of Kuana City. Thank you very much for inviting me to the symposium. Uh, today we have from France, Dr. Barna, and also Dr. Springer from the Netherlands. Welcome to Japan. Uh, there's a lot of things I want to talk about, and I tend to be very fast when I speak. But I will try to be slow so that uh, it will be easier for the translators to translate. And I will also focus uh, my topics on certain points. So first half, I will speak about Germany. And then in the latter half, I will speak about Kuwana City. I'm a deputy mayor of Kuana City. This right next to me is the mayor. He is the seventh youngest mayor uh, throughout Japan. He's only 36. Uh, he has been mayor since uh, December. This is what he said. I was born and raised in Kuana until I was 18 and 11 years I spent in Tokyo. When I looked at Kuana from the outside, I have realized that there's a lot of potential in this area called Kuana. Now, from 2005 to 2008, I was in Germany. I uh, felt exactly the same when I was there. Uh, when I went to uh, Germany, this became my motto, knowing the outside is seeing the inside. This is true internationally, but I think this is also true between the municipalities in the same country. By comparing yourself with the others, you will see, understand uh, the good and negative parts of yourself, and you will use that as an opportunity as innovation, and you need to visualize that. So the the key point is good and bad. Uh, what you see very often when you try to introduce, um, uh, you know, for. Uh, uh, Japan to another country, very often you tend to highlight the negative aspects of Japan compared to the um, other countries. Now, I was uh, serving at the Ministry of Labor, uh, Health and Welfare, if we, and um, many of the staff there work until very late at night. They have a lot of uh, like a uh, lot of study, um, a lot of hard work, and um, they tend to focus on day-to-day -day basis. Uh, the reason why I did, wanted to go to Germany was I love classical music, and I was hoping to go and um, uh, see um, the Berlin um, Philharmonic. However, when I went for the first time. Uh, I did. I was involved in the pension system, and I learned for the first time uh, negative and positive aspects of Japan, and uh, it became a great turning point in my life. And along with that, uh, by knowing the outside, you'll be able to see the inside. So if I want you to do that, uh, each and every one of you need to visualize all your initiatives. I think that's the key. When I was in Germany, I saw many people uh, do surveys and researches. I noticed that people tend to speak of the same thing. So I don't want to just keep this in my head, but I want to make sure that this is uh, visualized. It is left in a standard form. This is restricted to only uh, healthcare, but uh, I have written some literatures. And I'm a practitioner, so one thing I uh, pay attention to is I need to provide information that will directly link to um, systemization or uh, developing uh, institutionalization. Uh, what happens is that um, uh, translation from uh, uh, foreign literature into Japanese uh, is that there's often some mistranslation or maybe there's lack of understanding in the background. So I tend to make sure that there's a language check. Uh, there's So the subject I will be speaking about on the e-health card, uh, you can see the details in these literatures here. Uh, so I will just highlight a few points. And also along with this today, uh, we will be hearing from the two professors 
we have heard from the professor, and uh, I thought that maybe I should have spoken about the receipt payment. Uh, but today, uh, you can see um, some screening of the reimbursement in Germany. There's a literature I have written about this, so I hope you will look at that later on. So I think uh, we need to make sure that we in demonstrate with data. Uh, data is important in Japan, and I totally agree with the speakers before me. So if you have time, um, I hope you'll look at some of the things that I have written. So let me explain about Germany. The, this is the table of contents. Just because because I went to Germany, I think uh, Germany is a place where Japan can learn a lot. Uh, population size is very similar uh, in between 100 million. Uh, rate of aging, birth rate, they're very similar. So in that sense, uh, there's a lot of useful information which we can reference. By the way, this is Japan, Germany's uh, social insurance uh, premium rate. The comparison, the parentheses. Uh, this is just using a salaried worker, so this is where the employer will uh, pay for. Uh, but it's about three to four uh, in terms of the pension rates. So social uh, insurance premium rate, I think we have been successful in capping it. Now, in terms of medical cost. Today I have also have a list of France and the Netherlands because we have guests from France and the Netherlands. So we have a comparison of the four nations. So this is total healthcare uh, cost expenditures versus GDP uh, per capita healthcare expense. Even if you compare them, you can see that Japan uh, versus is economic uh, power. You can see that we have been able to contain a lot of our medical cost. Now we have many private sector. Uh, representatives here. Many economists say that uh, uh, Japan's social security has been developed, was developed during the uh, high economic growth rate at times, and there's been no reform since then. But I think it's wrong. I think that uh, if you look at the history of um, health and welfare, uh, is the uh, making the um, elderly's uh, um, medical cost free of charge. Now, in 2000, there was a, a very large reform on uh, nursing care. Uh, population is decreasing, so social security will increase every year. So the ministry uh, needs to implement uh, institutional reform every year. So in that sense, uh, the uh, this, uh, employees of um, uh, Ministry of Health and Labor are totally uh, tired out. But of course, uh, in terms of provision of health care, we still have a lot of issues. This is looking at the uh, number of um, uh, patients uh, per capita, and this is the number of beds every 1,000 people, and uh, this is the um, number of days in hospital. So you can see that we are a uh, Japan exceeds other countries in this sense. Now this is the public medical insurance comparison between Japan and Germany. Uh, the reason why uh, Japan can reference from Germany is that in any case uh, we have adopt a uh, social insurance scheme and so in that sense I'm very interested in what France and Netherlands have to offer their scheme but so compared to um, a country that is um, run by tax I think the German and Germany and Japan uh, lie on the same foundation but what we differ greatly is that uh, Japan, uh, Germany does not have a universal health care scheme like Japan um, uh, public, um, uh, those uh, people who work for the private as the private employees must uh, uh, become mandatory insured, must uh, join the social insurance scheme. But uh, otherwise, they will not have to. But in Japan, uh, so, in other words, so in other words, they do not help each other by everyone participating in um, the health care, health insurance scheme. So salaried workers in Japan will participate in the employer's uh, insurance scheme, and those who are not salaried workers will join the regional insurance scheme. So in that way, uh, we, all the uh, people in Japan will participate in the universal health insurance scheme. And also in terms of the insured, Excuse me, insurer. Uh, it, both Japan and Germany, you have multiple insurers, medical insurers. But as you can see in Germany, uh, the, each of the insured can voluntarily choose uh, which uh, insurer to join. In Japan, um, 
which um, insurer will, uh, the insured can participate uh, will depend on the job domain and region. And it seems as though this is a good system, but in Japan, uh, if a, um, a papa mama kind of company, uh, in order to um, alleviate the burden on the insur social insurance, they do not participate because they dislike the burden of the extra expense. So uh, in, G in Germany, th that is not the case. So They don't have any scheme uh, whether to see where, whether everyone uh, is participating in the insurance scheme or not. In terms of the healthcare provision structure in Germany, uh, GP uh, will do the outpatient, and the hospitals will do inpatient treatment. As for sophisticated um, medical uh, therapy, uh, treatment, um, the hospitals will also treat the outpatient patients. But in Japan, um, there's no distinction. And as for uh, medical service fees in Japan, of course, the payer and the healthcare provider, uh, it's called Chuikyo, uh, but uh, they will, of course, uh, be express their opinion. But the final uh, decision will be achieved by the government. In Germany, the, uh, there's a legal framework, but based on that, uh, there's a negotiation will take place between the payer and the healthcare provider. So the governance is uh, left up to the uh, player themselves. Now, there's a NHI price revision every two years. Uh, there's a specific division in the ministry. Uh, in that year where there's price revision, they would have to be secluded in a um, uh, particular room, and they would be stuck there all day long. Um, and sh and they actually do this revision uh, with just a few people. But in Germany, uh, there's uh, medical associations, there's uh, insurance associations. They all participate in the, actual, the de facto rules making process. So I think this is a point we can learn from in Japan. Also, another characteristic is the NHI price in Japan. As you know, this is a common sense in Japan. Um, uh, the reimbursement uh, will be uh, government official, uh, will be determined by the government. And in Germany, uh, the main point here is that there's really no uh, government determined reimbursed price. Uh, it's really about how much margin wholesaler or the pharmacy can um, receive. That is stipulated by the law, but um, manufacturers at at, at their discretion as to the, determining the selling price. But of course, there's no ceiling to it if they l let them do it fr uh, freely. So there's a reference price. So uh, let's, as other than innovative drug, uh, there's uh, a certain uh, medical, uh, I'm sorry, there's a drug group uh, which will be um, the, the limit, the, which will set the limit on pharmacy selling price that is subject to the reimbursement. So as I have been saying before, in Germany, uh, the definition of uh, innovative drug, that's the key. Uh, that would be the critical point. In terms of funding, uh, it, medical cost uh, is either uh, co conducted by contribution of pre uh, premium or tax, the public expense, and of course the co-payment by the patient. And it, it really, there's only three sources of uh, funds, and it's a combination of the three. So it's very simple. Now this is just a relative comparison, but in Germany, um, the contribution is considerable. The premium is considerable. On the other hand, Japan, the premium is limited, but uh, tax payment and um, patient's um, burden is uh, considerable. And so the burden on the patient is actually uh, helping contain the medical cost. And between the insurer and insured, uh, there's a, a fiscal coordination in Germany. Uh, this is not restricted to just the elderly, but uh, also young subjects are. Um, by age and by gender, uh, there's a financial coordination. There will be a gap bet uh, difference between the medical costs, but in Japan, it's restricted to um, just the elderly. So the fiscal coordination is only between the, uh, uh, restricted for the elderly. <clears throat> now, uh, this is the uh, specific uh, uh, structure of funds for the public uh, medical insurance. Uh, this is the uh, federal government's burden. 
as you can see, that is revised every year. And again, so for example, uh, they will reduce it uh, when the in the uh, the fiscal balance is poor. This is the patient's burden. Now, this is the Germany's uh, social insurance number. So first of all, uh, this numbering system in Germany. Uh, on the surface in Germany, uh, they have a history of national socialism, so uh, they are very sensitive uh, uh, about protection of it, private information, individual information. But in Sweden, uh, they do not adopt a common and uniform number. Now, they say social uh, ins number, but this is just uh, restricted to uh, public pension insurance. And uh, in the public medical insurance, they use a medical insured number. That's only in theory, though. In practice, uh, in order to uh, make the um, administrative work efficient, they have different um, uh, uh, measures. So for example, uh, filing of um, premium, uh, it is conducted by a sickness fund. So sickness fund undertakes all the administrative Measures. There's about 150 sickness funds. So as a business owner, uh, you are dealing with at least 150 insurers, but uh, it is only for medical insurance. So uh, it's medical insurance <coughs> uh, will refer all other uh, social insurance administrative authorities. So basically, uh, there will be insurance number that will be listed on the pension fund. So um, this will function to identify the insured. And also, in you need to uh, create the medical insured number, uh, you will use insurance number. So uh, these are some of the allowance uh, to it. <coughs> so I think they're striking a very good balance. Because of the time constraints, uh, uh, if you could, I would just appreciate it if you could look at the slide to see how the insurance numbers are created. Also, um, they, they have been revising the scheme, so this is the history of the scheme revisions. And next, uh, this is the uh, medical insured uh, card, which I would like to explain. So, at the sickness fund, uh, this is the uh, medical insured card. So what they do is they issue this card for each insured. It used to be a plastic card, but in recent years, uh, they have decided to make this an uh, e-card. Uh, so now it's an electronic health card today. They're in the process of um, revising that. Uh, this is uh, for the improvement of uh, treatment economics, quality, and transparency. And then because the insured could change, uh, so in case there's a sickness uh, fund changes, then uh, the previous uh, sickness fund will collect that card. Uh, but uh, with eHealth card, you will be able to access different data. So even if you change the sickness fund, uh, ins insurer can continue to use this data. Now, as for this uh, health card, uh, this is the contents of what the, it's of the cards. So uh, these are the information that will allow you to identify the individual. So, and um, this is the the ordinary plastic card. And as for the e card, uh, there's more details. Now, how is what is the purpose of this card? What how is it used? Of course, in the plastic card, uh, it is there to uh, prove your eligibility at the health institution, and also you use that to make settlements. In addition to that, with e health card. Uh, it is used for uh, f more uses and uh, various uses. Now, this is not. A, this is a list of what you can do using e health card, but this is what is possible with uh, legally today. And so they have not necessarily implemented everything on this list. The greatest need uh, was for prescription, uh, so digitalized prescription. So when I was in Germany. I would have to take my children to hospitals or clinics, and I would uh, use this uh, paper prescription. But now this has been digitalized. Also, EU allows freedom of uh, mobility. So 
uh, they allow uh, healthcare also to cross border. Uh, they also allow for cross border healthcare as well. So you need to prove your qualifications, and also you need some medical data. Uh, so, for example, um, doc you need also have a doctor's letter in order to receive um, cooperation um, that goes beyond the border. So when you go to a different uh, medical institution, you'll be able to use this if you have this medical letter. That is included in here as well. And at this point, I'm not sure. I think it has to do with clinical data and also uh, not restricted case study, but it, you will be able to access patient document as well, record as well. Or maybe there will be some information on the benefit and intention for organ transplant. And also, a direct translation is pre um, preventive delegation. So let's say you are have a large uh, se severe injury and you are not able to uh, show your will. You will not be able to sign contracts, so you will uh, delegate your um, authority to someone else. So that information is included as well. So. Um, which this will indicate uh, I prefer this treatment, I do not prefer that treatment. So that can be decided beforehand, and that information can all be included in e health card. <clears throat> Uh, patient uh, treatment uh, disposal. Uh, this is has to do with, uh, I think, a civil code. So I hope I can learn more on this. I'm not quite familiar on it. So this is the e card. Uh, it's actually an IC card. So this was the plastic card, and this is the e card, IC card. You have the insurance uh, card, and you have. E um, job card uh, that would be held by the healthcare providers. And here's a reader, so you swipe it, and if the pin code matches, then so the, if the provider and the uh, the owner of the card, um, if the pin code matches, then you'll be able to access information. So the uh, surface is for Germany, the backside is for Europe. This is the background on e health card in Germany. Uh, the discussion took place before I went to Germany. I think it was in 2004 in the medical reform they had first established this. And while I was there, I heard did a lot of interviews and I heard many things. There's a lot of uh, different discussions. Uh, they would discuss and would decide, and another issue would be identified, and they would discuss all over again. So they repeated this. So from 2003, they have been working on this for 10 years, and they're finally where they are today. Uh, most recently, as you can read here, uh, Sickness Fund uh, will promote the issuance of e-health card. So, but until December 2012, uh, against us, at least minimum 70 percent of uh, insured. Um, those uh, sickness funds that did not issue e health card, uh, they will uh, make an obligation that they will not be able to uh, increase the administrative cost. Now, this is Germany's uh, e-health card. After uh, trial and error of many years, they're still at a developmental stage. In Japan, uh, we have My Number uh, Act, which has been enacted. So uh, aside from the tax number, you will have a nursing care number as well. And uh, we need to uh, start considering um, information uh, related to each other or mutual information. So we believe that that uh, German system will be very useful to us. Next, uh, let's talk about uh, Kuwana City. Uh, this is uh, the image character of Kuwana City, Yume Hamachan. Well, right now, uh, we are in uh, the midst of uh, the uh, September uh, City Council yeah, actually, during this uh, session, uh, the staff uh, will not be able to go out, but uh, I was uh, able to uh, get the approval from uh, the city council uh, because uh, I can PR uh, Kuwana City. Actually, uh, Kuwana City is uh, closer to the Nagoya, uh, although it is uh, in the Mie Prefecture, it's uh, 30 minutes. Uh, to from Nagoya to Kuwana, and in the city uh, there are five uh, highway interchanges. So this is a hub uh, city, 
and also uh, historically uh, from the uh, feudal era or the Bushi samurai era uh, to uh, the Meiji era. Uh, actually, uh, Aizu uh, was uh, the few uh, that uh, resisted against this, and uh, Koana was friend. Uh, therefore, uh, it was regarded as for to uh, the uh, imperial court. And actually, Tsu uh, is uh, actually uh, uh, was uh, 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 betrayed, uh, and actually uh, it lost the war. Uh, so, uh, against the Tsu city, Kuana city, uh, has uh, the rivalry uh, sentiment. Uh, therefore, uh, while we are uh, the Mie prefecture, uh, still uh, we uh, do not think that we are uh, the Kuana citizen, not the Mie citizen. And uh, there are various uh, sceneries. Uh, well, up until I been there, I didn't know. The theme park, uh, the number one, uh, Tokyo Disneyland. And the second is uh, the Universal Studio in Osaka. And the third is Nagashima Resort. Uh, so this is Nagashima Resort. Uh, 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 this is at uh, the edge of uh, the wharf. And I don't like this, but uh, there is a gigantic uh, jet coaster. And uh, so there's a hot spa and a pool. An outlet, uh, the genetic outlet, uh, this is really wide. And all of those uh, is uh, the Nagashima Resort. And uh, every uh, 20 years, uh, the uh, Ise Jingu, which will uh, reconstruct uh, the Jinja, and actually, this is uh, the place. And do you know uh, the Jinshin War? And uh, there are uh, the uh, there are three uh, Kiso uh, rivers, and uh, you can command uh, the beautiful view of those three rivers. And so fireworks actually at the riverside, uh, you can enjoy uh, the scenery. And this is a Rokayan. This is a Meiji era built, uh, uh, beautiful park and uh, Josiah Kondo designed uh, this uh, building, and this is very rare. Uh, historical heritage, and actually, uh, this was uh, one of uh, the uh, post cities uh, of uh, Tokaido Road, and in that, uh, actually, uh, there is uh, the various uh, sweets and uh, the food uh, developed. Sorry, uh, this is a PR of uh, the Hamana City, uh, the, uh, Kuana City. Uh, and uh, Kuana enjoyed uh, the increase of uh, the population because it was the bed town for the Nagoya city. Uh, but now, going forward, uh, we would have the more elderly population 1.4 times. Uh, there will be the challenging increase of the elderly in the city. And uh, against this, actually 1.5 times higher number of the deaths. Uh, so we have the challenge in terms of the demography of uh, the Kuana city. And in Kuana right now, uh, we have uh, uh, the uh, new uh, hospital uh, to be built. Actually, this was uh, the uh, city hospital. And also, uh, the uh, ISC will be merged uh, to uh, the new hospital. So far, we had uh, the middle-sized uh, Hospitals, and there were many of them in Kuana. Therefore, uh, the emergency system was not was fragmented, and now the emerging uh, is ongoing. And uh, as the medical institution, medical corporation, uh, they are merging, and at the same time, uh, the ISC will be merged, and uh, you would see this uh, new hospital. But uh, it's a costly operation, and the Kuana city has uh, the difficult budget, and yet. Uh, one uh, uh, one thousand four hundred ten billion yen in total will be spent uh, to make this uh, big hospital. Actually, uh, the ISC and uh, the medical uh, corporations will be merged, and this is the very first endeavor uh, in Japan. Uh, therefore, uh, we received many inquiries, and uh, actually, uh, since uh, 2002, we had a big debate uh, to come up with this situation right now. And in this hospital, uh, uh, there are functions and the role uh, to be played by the hospitals as shown here. 
two points. Uh, one is uh, the emergency care, and the second is uh, the local complete uh, care. So far, uh, the hospital actually completed uh, the total care, but now uh, the care is provided by the community. Uh, so uh, what was the problem that we had? Uh, this shows uh, the emergency uh, ambulance dispatched. Uh, so far, 5,000 of them were um, carried by uh, the ambulance, and uh, about 1,000 of them had to be uh, delivered to uh, the uh, hospital outside uh, the Kuwana city. Uh, this was uh, the major concern. Uh, therefore, rather than the middle-sized uh, hospitals, we should have the number one hospital uh, to provide uh, the uh, full-fledged uh, emergency care. And yet, uh, uh, there are many refusals. Even if uh, the ambulance uh, go there, and yet uh, the hospital Refused, uh, refused to accept uh, those patients, and that has to be decreased. And going forward, uh, this uh, new hospital is uh, still uh, the point. Uh, therefore, uh, we have to link uh, this hospital uh, to uh, the LTC care services. That is a challenge going forward. Uh, what we have done so far uh, to link it, we had uh, the uh, this link uh, in the community first, uh, those who are treated uh, by uh, the hospital, uh, then they'll go to uh, the LT, uh, uh, the long-term care service, and for these uh, four types of uh, the diseases, we'd have this link. And so we have the MIA prefectural uh, medical network, and over there, for instance, uh, MIA University uh, affiliated hospital offered uh, the treatment to the patient, and that data uh, would be shared uh, by the other hospitals in Kuwana City. But now, Kuwana City, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we are still uh, going to construct uh, this uh, new, s new hospital. Therefore, we don't have that. Uh, uh, hardware in place. Uh, therefore, uh, we right now are uh, entering uh, the local uh, hospital uh, to get into this uh, network. And other programs are being shown now. As I mentioned earlier, uh, we are going to build uh, the acute care hospital, but uh, that is uh, what we established as uh, the point of care, but now what we need is uh, the integrated community care system uh, as uh, was uh, proposed by uh, the government. Actually, uh, the central government also uh, encourages uh, municipalities uh, to build uh, the community care system. Uh, actually, uh, in uh, 2025, the baby boomers uh, would reach uh, the age of 75 years old. And with this as a target here, uh, the uh, integrated uh, community care system uh, will be provided so that they live uh, in their own home. And uh, in this uh, continuum of the care, uh, the uh, acute care, uh, the uh, rehabilitation, long-term care uh, services will be provided. Uh, so uh, this uh, government initiative also uh, will be followed by Kuwana City. And in order to achieve this uh, target, uh, we have to first uh, link between uh, the medical service and care service. I don't know if uh, the overseas participants would understand that. Actually, uh, those professionals uh, were quite divided in the past. Uh, therefore, uh, they have to know with each other first. So uh, the care providers and uh, the medical providers uh, should uh, know and should uh, be acquainted with each other. And in this way, uh, those uh, medical service providers and uh, care service providers uh, would hold uh, jointly uh, the a workshop. And uh, we are doing this uh, for some years. Uh, therefore, that resulted in the personal relationship between uh, the care service providers and the medical service providers. And one of uh, the tool is uh, this uh, uh, slip. Actually, uh, we have the care managers uh, to come up with a care plan. 
and that、uh, information will be provided to the attending physician、uh, in this format.、Uh, and、uh, in this way,、uh, you can share the information on the particular patient or the elderly who needs a care or the medical services. So,、uh, the term,、uh, the integrated community care system,、uh, is uh, not. Uh, does not prevail right now. Uh, and uh, in order to prevent uh, the, all the patients、um, flooding、uh, the university hospitals,、uh, those、uh, care service providers and the medical service providers, and also the stakeholders, and uh, uh, all of them、uh, should get together、uh, to provide the information to the patient on、uh, the significance of、uh, the community. Integrated care system. And to that, we have、uh, to link、uh, all the information s in this continuum of the care. And unless、uh, the medical service providers and、uh, the care service providers are eager to、uh, share the information, we cannot do this. Actually, in the past,、uh, we、uh, Were hospital centered.、Uh, therefore, only hospitals are provided information and control the information. But now the problem is that、uh, there are various t y p e of the services. There are various types of the hospitals or the clinics or、uh, the general practitioners or、uh, the care service providers. And also rehabilitation s and also、uh, the volunteers、uh, may also be involved. Uh, therefore, uh, the municipality uh, so far、uh, was a player, but now Uh, we are going to be the manager of the care system. So, various stakeholders uh, would uh, link uh, themselves and we would uh, build uh, the network. Uh, so, in the net network, all of、uh, those providers will be linked uh, with uh, the people、uh, in the center. Actually,、uh, this is a very difficult endeavor、uh, and difficult as、uh, we have come up with a long term care insurance. Uh, if we go back、uh, to this information sharing, uh, well, a、uh, database、uh, may be needed or the system may be needed, and perhaps the majority of them、uh, may be interested in such a、uh, uh, database. Making,、uh, but uh, for that, uh, we have this uh, uh, Japan rehabilitation strategy. Japan is back, and also、uh, it is also、uh, stipulated in uh, the Japan, uh, the world's uh, leading edge.、Uh, Uh, decl uh, declaration. Uh, so, as a national project,、uh, we have、uh, those IT services, but we like to just use it. But even if、uh, there is a system or the data database,、uh, the critical part is how to use it. Actually, those、uh, medical、uh, service providers、uh, and the care service providers, and also the users,、uh, they have to know. Uh, the significance. Even if the tools are available,、uh, they may fail to use it effectively. Therefore, in order to achieve this integrated communicated care system, you have to know uh, what uh, information that should be used and what system is valuable for、uh, those users. And uh, that uh, is what、uh, we municipalities have to do. So, all right, the another point here. Well,、uh, in this、uh, care service and、uh, the medical service link,、uh, as I mentioned,、uh, in Kuwana City,、uh, we are going、uh, to build a new hospital, and that is、uh, the very important、uh, local asset. And this、uh, Kuwana Medical Center is uh, the local uh, IAC, uh, therefore, uh, we are、uh, the owner. Uh, therefore, uh, we let the hospital、uh, to come up with、uh, the midterm. Uh, plan and uh, the target. Uh, and uh, it is rather difficult to convince、uh, the hospital staff uh, to uh, make uh, their own long term plan, but they have to contribute uh, to uh, the uh, care in the community.、Uh, therefore, with that role in mind,、uh, they、uh, would also uh, promote uh, the link of the information and also the information sharing、uh, between、uh, the medical and、uh, care services. Well,、uh, we are now enjoying the fall this year, and in Kuwana,、uh, closer to、uh, the Nagashima Resort,、uh, there's a, a huge、uh, flower garden. And there,、uh, from October, we have this、uh, big illumination. And、uh, last year, we did it up until the end of the March. This is、uh, the 
uh, Japan largest uh, scale illumination please uh, come and visit us and also we have uh, the various attractions uh, therefore it's just 20 minutes from Nagoya uh, so with this I would like to conclude uh, my presentation thank you for your attention